What's up all my friends? After a week of thinking about my marathon experience, I finally decided that I'm going to go ahead and make a video and tell you all just a little bit about it. That a Minnesotan did win for the first time since 1995 the Grandma's Marathon, which by the way is now ranked in the nation's top 10 marathons. He ran it in 2 hours 13 minutes on a day that was almost 90 degrees, one of the hottest days on record for the history of that race. The course record is two hours and nine minutes held by Dick Beardsley, but just to put that in perspective, if you round off roughly, a human being is running 13 miles an hour for 26 miles. Drive your car 13 miles an hour once and just see exactly how fast that is and you'll understand what an incredible feat that is. That's my race number, 2991. And this is my medal that I received for finishing the race. And the t-shirt that they gave out. Now some of the struggles that I had. Uh, well let me just first of all say that running a marathon unless you're an elite class runner is a race against yourself. It's a battle against yourself not against the pack. And uh, I really feel like I lost that battle even though I finished the race. I trained at an 8 minute per mile pace and ran into some significant challenges along the way. Call it the heat or the fact that I ran with the pace of the crowd instead of keeping my own pace. These are rookie mistakes that I should have known better. I do have a couple of things going for me that I'm going to show you right now. I have two different sized feet. I have a size 11 left and as you can see a size 9.5 right. I'll move this foot into the sun so you can also see now. I was born with six toes on my right foot and they lopped one of them off as you can see and the one that remains has affectionately been given the name by my brothers of Big and Toe. And you'll also notice as I pan back out I don't know if you can see this or not, but the right foot, my right foot has a much wider span than my left and a much higher arch. So I did have some more special orthotics made for my shoes that helped out in my training and got me to be able to run that length of a distance, but I'm not sure if that came into play anyways uh, when my IT band seized up on me. You might want to know what an IT band is. So I'm going to show you on the side of my leg. Everybody has this. Bad lighting here, but basically that big band of muscles right here that transcends your knee and it goes all the way down your calf and all the way up your hamstring to your glutes it's a common runner injury to have that seize up at some point along the way if you've overdone it so that's what happened to me at mile 14 and I had to hobble and limp and then sometimes walk to the end of that race but nonetheless Oh, and then another one other thing, uh, so you can see this or not. My feet were covered in blisters, and a week later, here's still one on the end of my toe, where the whole toe became a blister and a blood blister. That I can deal with, that was minor, just a little annoyance, but anyways, uh, I'm going to show you the end of the, the race now. Without further delay, and you can see, take a look on my face as I cross the finish line, how disgusting I look and how uh, filled with agony I was because of that leg. And Anyways, I'm going to think back on this fondly as a great memory, and I may consider doing it again next year because I am so goddamn competitive that I cannot stand for a 447-53 finish when I train to finish in under four hours and maybe even closer to three and a half. We'll see. I don't know. It was really uh, a challenging experience. So anyways, check out the video. Hope you enjoy it. And remember this. He made it though, he did it. Did you get his picture? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's hurting bad. 
So as you can see, it was a fairly miserable finish to the race. I wanted to correct a couple of things I might have said in that uh, first segment of the video. It was the first time an American had won that race since 1995. It's always the Nigerians and the Kenyans that win the race. An American had won it. First time since 1995, and it was the most lopsided victory in the history of the race. He won by 3 minutes and 18 seconds. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, thanks for watching all my stuff. As, as always, oh, I wanted to also add... For those of you that track me, thank you so much for all the support. Jason and Denny and I think Phil Hogan's Goat, I think you were following, a couple others. I apologize if I don't remember who it was, but so many people sent me texts and emails. I really, really appreciate that. So thanks a bunch to you guys. Take it easy. I'll be back again soon. Peace!